almost been 40. So that's the next populated area. <laughs> Empty wilderness for another 240. And it looks like we're heading back down south into beautiful BC. Rocks taking a van down here. Yep, this is the perfect free camping site. is a beast. Hopefully no damage. Holy moly. Cassiar Gold Rush.
like mine? No, it doesn't look like it. Boy, an interesting place. I think it was worth driving down here. Well, that was a really interesting visit to this old abandoned mine, it, apparently. So I talked to a guy who was here uh, working on a one of the old tractors. Um, just a local guy. He told me that it shut down in 92. It operated from the 50s until 92. And this enormous, enormous pile behind me is asbestos. Just an incredibly big pile of asbestos. <laughs> um, there's a whole bunch of old uh, abandoned vehicles uh, and it's kind of like a trip down uh, a trip back in, in time I guess Jade City baby where's that from? Coffee doesn't sound like they're still doing that eh? Trying to make sure I hit every single pothole. I talked to the uh, lady who appeared to be the owner of the Jade uh, Jade City store there, the Jade store, <clears throat> and she was saying that they're down from what would normal times they would have 500 or so people pass through the store in a day this time of year in the summer. Uh, and now they're down to five, she joked, uh, five or ten, uh, which it, all that to say that it sounds like the tourism industry has just been devastated up here by the pandemic. And she was talking about all these mom and pop businesses going under, just can't keep their doors open. So just another sad story from a rural area that isn't getting the tourism that it r relies on. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> 